Alright, welcome back to another Mega Man Maker episode here. We're playing through the ancient ore shaft, I believe it was called there, and it was created by the Proto player. And yeah, I played I believe this is the third stage from Proto player here, and I've never picked Brawl yet in any of his levels. Um actually Oh, you can't pick this up. Oh, that's a shame. Well, let's see. Let's, can we... Oh, yeah, this this one we can lift. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find some neat items here to play around with. It's kind of a bummer, though, that you can't... <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. I can block off enemies. I didn't even think of that. But that is... Yeah, that is kind of a bummer how you can't lift up all, you know, crates in the game. That would have been sweet, I think. Let's see. Nice, dude. Uh, of course, now we can't kill them. We're gonna have to wait a bit. And it turns out the napalm is pretty darn strong against us. And oh, check this out. Oh, it doesn't pierce armor! Oh, that's kind of lame. <laughs> this to- this totally- this weapon should totally, um, pierce armor. Yeah. It definitely should. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, developers. Ah, no, but seriously, um, It would have been cool, but, you know, it's not the home world, like, it's <laughs> Let's see here. I- I think there's gonna be something hidden here. Oh, okay, well, perhaps not. It looked very suspicious with those rocks being there, and yeah, uh, <laughs> those guys kind of scares me. It like you think that they are gonna kill you in one hit, but yeah, apparently the drill guys doesn't do that. And wow, well, these spikes certainly <laughs> kills you in one hit, though. Um, yeah, we're just gonna cut back here. See you in a sec. Okay, we're pretty much back. Pretty much. Just a few more screens to go here. Yeah, I just realized that we do have the Blade Cracker here, which... This certainly will pierce armor here, so yeah, it's very helpful. Against certain enemies, can we? Yeah, nice. Can totally save it. No! 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 Oh, God! Oh! Dang, dude, I'm not playing so well. You know what? Let's do this. Let's just refill everything here. And we'll cut back again. Whew, okay, now let's try and do this a little bit better. I actually took one heck of a beating to get back here and yeah dang it I did not need to take that down Jesus Jesus yeah this time I might actually just die from contact with enemies here if I'm not careful here now oh crap dude how do we deal with this guy you know what maybe yeah we're actually we're gonna use the needle cannon here just pin him with needles and we can just concentrate on dodging. That's actually a very neat way of using the needle cannon there. It's actually quite effective against Picket Man. Ooh, and you know what? Very nice. And here we're just gonna bust out the Blade Cracker or Ballad. Till this point. Four blue ones and one red. And this here might be a key room actually. Or a reward system room. Oh, it's another one of these guys. 
The proto player had this in one of his earlier stages uh, to the same um, gimmick, if you will. <laughs> oh my goodness, the <laughs> rumbling is making me nervous. I really like the visuals here too, I will say. Definitely nails the whole cave situation going on here very well. Hmm, well, there's definitely something here. Right? Yep. And yeah, I probably don't want to waste that weapon. <laughs> and I actually don't know, can you like hide items inside of these rocks? Kind of like with the crates? I'm actually not sure. And actually I also wonder... Okay, no, 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 it does consume energy when you pick up rocks that are, uh, are laying around here. I thought for a second that maybe if you find rocks uh, laying around you don't have to spend energy on those, but yeah, no, that's not the case. Dang, dude, yeah, I'm still not used to that. They, yeah. Just take a brief pause there before they start moving again when they fall off, uh, fall off an edge. An eighth key. Well, yeah, and here is the power up room. We are certainly gonna be buying another M tank here. Ooh, have the M tanks been made cheaper? I believe they were five keys before already. Four? Maybe they were four before as well, and I just. Yeah, don't remember properly. And yes, even here we have the same thing. Uh, you can either rebuy this. Or say the red keys for the very end where you get additional E tanks for them. But yeah, I'd rather have this weapon because it will let us save ourselves if we do drop into a pit or something. It could potentially save us. And there could be crates we need to smash open with it around in the level. Yeah, so I definitely think it's a good idea to stick with it here. And yeah, I suck at dodging this guy. No new stare. <sighs> oh, joy, joy, dude, that was... Yeah. That was freaking close. Just barely got on through that. And holy crap, here we have two concrete men. <laughs> well, we have really got to be careful then. So we don't accidentally fall into a pit here. And yeah, these guys are gonna be very nasty now. Actually, I just realized we probably wanna keep the ice slasher out at all times here and just kind of shoot while moving forward so that if there are any of those thrower enemies then we can just freeze them up yeah just like that uh, napalm very nice whoa dude the napalm 
Just rocks the minecarts. What the heck? Nice. Let's see. Take you out and. Ooh, oh! <laughs> Very cool. Okay, well. Get that health. Yeah, we're now in, now we're in very good shape here once more. Let's see, how do we deal with this dude? Uh, probably with Napalm. Nice. Actually, maybe you want to keep jumping all the time when you're going through these rooms here. That way, yeah, you definitely won't be stunned as often. Hm. Yeah, I only tried out there. If you know how the hyper bombs, when you hold down, they go forward faster, and when you hold up, you load them up. I was trying if there was something similar going on here with the. With this napalm bouncer, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that works too. Pretty well so far. It's also a lot of fun to just play around with all these weapons. Yeah, I haven't seen many levels using, you know, the these rocks yet here. It's yeah, interesting to play around with them. And I'm all out of napalm. Oh, dude, that is sick. You can actually just... Yeah. You can just lay boxes on top of enemies and they will be crushed. Dude. So it's basically one-shot weapon. <laughs> one-shot kill weapon or whatever. That is freaking awesome. And yeah, we definitely want this back here. Let's just get it. And, well, I mean, might as well go for the AD tanks. And it's also very nice for those playing divided challenge that, you know, they can buy one up down there. And I expect this here will be the final segment of the level. Oh, okay, maybe this is the final boss here. Yeah, typically the levels here follow... Oh, a formula. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, nice combo there by Concrete, man. Holy smack, holy smack, holy crap. He just stunlocked me. Maybe I'll fight him like that. These two weapons combined here. Whoa! Okay, dude. But yeah, I think I'll try and um, beat him like that. I'll switch between these two here. That would be interesting. Oh! What? My shield is still out. Dude! What am I doing? Nice, there. You know what? Let's just use the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good, I guess. Uh, with the whole swatch weapon thing there, it's just distracting me. Yeah, this is a pretty good boss arena here from, for a concrete man. Oh, whoa! Yeah. Dude, he's kicking my ass! I'm not playing very well right now. I don't know why I'm sucking so badly. <laughs> Let's see here. 
dude. Nice. I think I'm just standing too close to him for too long, so he keeps getting me with the concrete, yeah, like that, and he's just stealing damage to me, so I just gotta, you know, get in one hit. Perhaps start running, whoops. Nice. And no, he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, so... Also, I, <laughs> also I got my bearings together. It wasn't all that bad to defeat. <laughs> but yeah, like another very nice stage by the proto guy here, the proto man. Yeah, um, some nice visuals and just some fun treasure hunting for keys and some interesting challenges spread around, making for a very interesting traditional type level stage here so yeah another job nicely done there so yeah thank you for submitting it to me and yeah hopefully we'll see some more levels from you there in the future it'll be interesting i'm sure so yeah obviously with that thank you guys so very much for watching and have a nice day